Hi guys, I'm Samya and I'm back again with another video. I hope you're all well and safe. So today's video is a bookshelf reorganization video. Yes, finally, this was long overdue. The last time I did this reorganization was in 2018 and I had loved the result. Before that, I had done the reorganization when I used to have two bookshelves and it was color coded at that time, which was super cute as well. Now it's time to do it again, redo my bookshelves and that's what I'm going to do in today's video. And I'll take you through how I reorganize my bookshelves and where I kept the books and why I kept them there to kind of take you through the process that's the intention of this video and if you are a book lover and a reader and if you are not subscribed to this channel then you definitely should hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell icon also guys if you like this video do give it a like and don't forget to leave a comment telling me which bookshelf out of all the ones that I arranged you like the most after watching the video so guys, this is what my bookshelves look like. As you can see, they are very unorganized and there are so many stacks here now and they're literally overflowing and I just have to manage my space, which is what my intention is with this reorganization. So I'm taking out all my books from the three bookshelves. I started with the first one and there are 700 books in total. So a lot of books to take out guys. And as you can see, I have taken them out. This is the pile from the first bookshelf and the first four bookshelves. Actually, I did not empty the final bookshelf as you can see, because I'm not really rearranging that one. I'm keeping it the way it is. Now I'm working on my middle or my second bookshelf. So yes, again, I have taken out all the books from the first four bookshelves. I have not touched the fifth bookshelf here as well because I don't plan to. And these are all the books that I emptied out. And the reason they don't look that many is because I've kept them in vertical piles. But they are quite a lot, guys. Trust me. And now time for my third and the final bookshelf and I'm emptying it out. I did empty it out again as you can see following the same protocol as before the last one I left alone. And yes, these are all the books from my third bookshelf from the first four shelves at least. And yes, so this is what it is. So guys, quite a lot of books as you can see. I have to rearrange all of them and it's a long, long road ahead to be honest and a very tiring one but I'm sure it will be rewarding in the end. So guys, the first two bookshelves I've arranged in such a manner that I've kept all my non-fiction books here, which means that there are biographies, autobiographies, memoirs, travel memoirs, and some self-help books that I have, motivational books. I have also kept poetry books here, which definitely are not a part of the non-fiction collection, but poetry isn't a part of the fiction collection either. So I decided that poetry books should go in these two bookshelves only. So guys, I've arranged these two bookshelves in such a manner that I've kept all my books that fall under the genre of fantasy and magical realism in these two bookshelves. For example, in this one, I have kept all my fantasy books that are like standalone or maybe series or trilogies, as you can see, duology as well. Well, these two books are not fantasy or magical realism though, Illumine and Gemina, they are actually science fiction books but I don't have a lot of science fiction books plus there is space crunch so I had to kind of compromise there and here also there are some more fantasy and magical realism books. You can see some Murakami titles here if you look a bit closer. Magical realism and fantasy are two different genres but they are still closer to each other than any other genre so I decided that both these genres will go together on my bookshelves. So guys, now I would like to talk about these two bookshelves. So if I talk about this one, it has all the titles that are written by Indian authors. They are from different genres. The only thing that is common in all these books is that they have been written by Indian authors or authors of the Indian origin as well, because there are certain books that have been written by authors who are settled in other countries. But I have kind of included them on this shelf because Indian origin. I talk about this bookshelf in particular particular it has books written by both Indian and foreign authors but these are mostly books that were either award-winning books or they were long listed or short listed for certain awards I kept these books here because again space crunch while rearranging these bookshelves I've had to make certain compromises with where I kept certain books because the space is limited so guys in case of these two bookshelves if I talk about this one I have kept my classic books as well as books from the historical fiction genre in this one because I don't know I felt that these two kind of go together plus again space crunch I'm going to be mentioning that quite a lot I live in Delhi guys so 
you can understand when it comes to space we delhiites definitely do face problems that's the consequence of living in a city then if i talk about this shelf it has books from all types of genres but the only common thing is that these are the books that have been written by foreign authors for the most part this particular shelf does not contain books written by indian authors so now if i talk about these two bookshelves so this one has all the titles by indian authors from different genres this one is actually a continuation of that bookshelf that i showed you previously but i am covering one frame at a time and i am covering my bookshelves vertically and i didn't show it horizontally because of that so yes different genres but all indian authors now this bookshelf contains all the titles by agatha christie and the genre here is obviously murder mystery this bookshelf and this collection used to be somewhere there before i had reorganized but now i have moved it here so i have so many agatha christie books that they occupy one entire shelf so now if i talk about these two bookshelves i have books from different genres in this shelf but i have you know books written by one author like multiple books written by one author and in case of quite a few authors here like i have books written by khaled husaini here madeline miller dan brown craig thompson steve larson sophie kinsella the genres are different the only common factor is that i have multiple titles by one author and there are five six authors on this bookshelf and if i talk about this one as you can see this is my collection of harry potter books and game of thrones books and here i also have death note so yes technically this is fantasy but i did not keep it with that particular bookshelves which i showed you initially because i just wanted to keep them here i wanted to really change the space up that's about it and death note i'm not sure if it's fantasy or not it's manga i'm not sure if manga is sub classified into other genres or not or manga in itself is a genre so that is something that i'm confused about if you would like to let me know then do tell me in the comments so since i had space crunch i had to <laughs> keep a lot of books over my bookshelves above my bookshelves as you can see this is not a bookshelf technically because it's not a defined shelf but a space above my bookshelves that i had to utilize finally i knew this was coming so all these are titles that authors sent me over a period of time and i kept them here you can kind of say that i am very grateful to have received so many review copies and that's why they are <laughs> the crown of this bookshelf so i have kept my wimpy kids books here and i have also kept my paulo coelho books here alongside other titles as well again space crunch guys my walls are white and now since the time i've kept these books on the top of these bookshelves my room looks more colorful and i really appreciate it this one has method because these are hindi titles but rest these are like random titles that i could not find anywhere else to keep so i kept them here so guys these are my graphic novels they used to be there on my bookshelves now but i have run out of space on my bookshelves i showed you that they are literally packed so i'll be utilizing other spaces in my house to keep books finally that stage has arrived in my journey of being a reader and i don't know how i feel about it but it is what it is and this is how my bookshelves look after i've rearranged them in all their glory and i love it guys to be very honest so guys that was it that was my video of me reorganizing all my bookshelves it was a very tiresome process i divided it over two days i mean i think it must have taken me 8 to 9 hours if i combine the effort of the two days because i couldn't do it all at once it was just way too much but it's rewarding i feel pretty good about it and yes my bookshelves look awesome and it looks new and i feel positive because that's what happens when you kind of clean stuff up and rearrange it so if you haven't rearranged your bookshelves but you plan to do it but you're procrastinating let this video be an inspiration for you thank you for watching so i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye take care and stay safe